Hi, I am Ravi here. Today I am working on Suzuki Hatsala 2015. Customer said that this car had a collision and one of other shop has done the collision repair. Already has been replaced entire airbag system, ABS, other body parts and completed the repair. Car is running fine. But bunch of indicate lamps are lit on the dashboard. Those are indicate for ABS, EPS, lane departure, transmission and few others. Customer complained no power steering, no traction brake and auto stop function not working. Let's diagnose it. Okay, let's see what are the available current fault codes. Go to the Suzuki and get the health report first. Here you can see those indicators are illuminated on the dash including check engine lamp. Traction control, lane departure, transmission, radar brake system and mill are indicating. Auto stop function also blinking. Still processing the health report but seems to be most of modules have faults. Let's see what are they. Oh yes, there are a bunch of fault codes. ECM has fault codes, TCM, ABS, EPS, air conditioning system also have fault codes. Look here, C1136 can invalid data from vehicle speed. And next, BCM has same problem that getting vehicle speed and U0121 lost communication with ABS. This is mostly possible CAN communication problem with the ABS module. Because vehicle speed is delivered by ABS module and most of other modules have been losing vehicle speed data here. You can see here automatic regulating light balance system lost wheel speed data. And IPC has bunch of U code regarding communication lost. Next dual camera brake support has C1730 CAN invalid data from ABS. Also lost communication with ABS. So on, there are many faults regarding a communication problem with invalid CAN data. What we can do is first take a report of this health report and clear all the fault codes. Then we can see what will duplicate immediately when restart the car. Okay, here I took the report and cleared the faults. Okay, most of fault codes were cleared. But dual camera brake support has U0121 lost communication with ABS. And camera control has couple of faults remained. So, let's start the car and we'll see which codes will be back. Here I am taking the health report again. This time we got less fault codes. But when we roll over this report, mostly indicate U0121 lost communication with ABS and losing wheel speed data for most modules. Also, can invalid data for wheel speed is another common code. So, when analyze this set of codes, it look like scan communication problem with ABS module. You know that wheel speed data is distributed by ABS module to other modules. Without wheel speed data, other modules that doing safety critical operations such as electronic power steering and camera brake support have been stopped. Okay, I would like to try that get into the ABS module. Because if ABS module completely failed, it will not allow us to go in and see the data. And it will not communicate with other modules too. No problem, I got into the ABS module. On the other hand, ABS module has been replaced after the collision and then could not be a problem. Customer told that other shop tried with two ABS module to fix this issue. Without any problem, I was able to get into the other modules too. That means all they are alive. I did a test run and look for the wheel speed data. ABS module produced them but not share with others. Look like CAN communication problem. 
So as the next step, I would like to hook up the scope and see the CAN signals on ABS module. Already I have backprobed CAN high and CAN low wires on the ABS module. Let's see the data. Look here, perfect CAN communication signals on the screen. That means no issue on ABS module. That is communicating. What could it be then? Let's see CAN signals on EPS. Already backprobed the CAN wires on electronic power steering module. I just unplug the connector and let's see how it looked like the CAN signal. Look, perfect CAN signal appear here, but it is less communicating signal as I have disconnected the connector. Ok, let's plug it back and we'll see. No problem at all. Perfect CAN signals on the EPS module. That means EPS also communicating well. Next, I backprobed the CAN lines on camera brake support system because this one also lost communication with the ABS. Look here, nice and good looking CAN signals. That means these modules are communicating. What could be the issue? So, I got perfect CAN communication signals on several modules which indicate no communication with ABS. Even though they are communicating each others, who knows they send and receive right messages that they could understand each others. If any modules send invalid data, even they have a good communication connection, other modules will not understand those data. In that case, I suspect recently installed ABS module. Even other shop has changed two ABS modules. If they are wrong modules which is not compatible with this car, could be an issue. Fortunately, customer had obtained the broken OE ABS module and it was with him. Look at its part number here. Just focus on the bigger letters FE72ME. And then look at the part number of the fitted ABS module. That is ME72ME. First two letters are quite different. But last numbers are same. They have only looked for the last numbers. Normally when change a module which has CAN communication, it should change to the exact same part number. Otherwise other modules will not accept those messages receiving from that module. They will be invalid data. So I am confident enough to call on this incompatible ABS module and replace an another ABS module with exact same part number. This is the OE ABS system which was damaged by the collision, part number FE72ME. And this is the already fitted ABS with wrong part number, ME72ME. Ok, we bought a junkyard ABS with the same part number, FE72ME. I have already plugged the module connector and let's see what will be the result. First of all, I am taking the health report again. Same as before, we got bunch of faults. But I will clear them and let's see what will happen. Most modules were cleared the faults. Just ADM has couple of faults. I don't care it, let's go ahead and start the car. Cool, all the indicators went away. Did you see that wrong part number which goes to same model car, but different version will not work for the other version in the same model. Actually it works but not communicating with other modules. Surf through the several modules and check for the DTCs. But no DTCs for any module which was thrown DTCs before. Ok, fitted the right ABS system into the car and brake bleeding done. We got a test run here. No more dashboard indicators car is running fine and no any issues on brake or power steering. Speedometer also working, car is switching to auto stop mode perfectly. 
Do not ever change modules with wrong part numbers. Thank you for watching. Stay subscribed for more diagnostic videos.